Hi, I'm your instructor, Eloise Thomas, and I want to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, first of all, I began teaching at OTC in 2003 as an adjunct, and then in 2008 I became full-time. I teach um, psychology of personal adjustment, I teach psychology of aging and research methods, and some semesters I teach intro to psychology and lifespan development. Like a lot of OTC students, I returned to a community college at age 40. It was a school much like this. I finished my associates and then transferred down here to Springfield, got my bachelor's and my master's, and I'm working on my PhD right now. Um, because I'm a student, it helps me see life through the eyes of students, and especially because the PhD program I'm working on is entirely online. It's really helped me to understand what it's like to be an online student. Um, I do understand that anxiety that students sometimes have, wondering if it's okay to contact me, um, wondering when they'll hear back from me. Here's my general policy. I tend to answer emails every few hours. Um, that might be different on the weekend, but within 24 hours, if you email me and haven't heard back, please, please um, contact me again. I won't be offended or think you're nagging me. You can call my office number, but I get back to emails more quickly. As far as grading, I generally have everything graded within two days of when it was due. Once again, if a week goes by and you don't have something graded, feel free to contact me because I may have missed it. A lot of times students wonder um, if I'm bothered by their questions. They apologize when they email me. Please don't. If this was a seated class, I would expect you to ask me questions in class. I would answer them then. Um, I would spend time doing that. So the same thing applies here. Please, please let me know anytime you have questions. I'm happy to answer them. If you um, email me, as I said, and I don't get back to you, just feel free to email me again. Don't apologize for, me, for emailing me. I'm your instructor and I'm very happy to get back to you. Okay, we hit the ground running, so I recommend that you get in and explore the course in Canvas as soon as possible. Um, the more you look through it and know what's coming, the better off you'll be. On the home page, you're going to see directions for, for um, getting your ebook to launch in Canvas. And once you put in your access code, you'll be able to, um, to launch the chapters within the modules. Also, you'll have access to MindTap, which is the supplementary materials from the publisher. I don't require anything in those but a lot of students find that they're very helpful as study aids. If you have any problems with anything having to do with the ebook or with any technical problems, please contact the online help desk at 447-6674. They can troubleshoot all that much better than I can. Also, if you prefer a hard copy, for a small additional fee, you can purchase that through the OTC bookstore. Some students find they like that better. Um, when you get into Canvas, you'll see that there's eight modules. Each one will last a week and everything you need for that module is contained in there. The first module though is the Canvas Basic. It's, it's navigation instructions. Some of you have used Canvas a lot. You may not need much in there. Others, this may be your first time. So feel free to just go through and search through those. Um, I have them linked so that if you need specific help, you can get it. You don't have to go through all of them. All quizzes are going to be due on Wednesdays. Also your discussion post, your initial one will be due on Wednesdays. Um, your final discussions to the other students, your responses will be due on Fridays, and everything else in the module will be due on Saturdays. Some students like to work ahead in this course, and that's absolutely fine. The only exception to that is that there are three activities in Module 1 that until you've completed those, Modules 2 through 8 won't open up for you. But as soon as those are done, you'll be able to look at the entire course. However, I recommend, even if you decide to work ahead, that you go through in order. Jumping from module to module, you may miss important information, and the, the information builds on itself, so try to go through it in order. But if you want to work ahead, that's great. As I said, discussion posts, your original one is due on Wednesday. However, if you don't get it done by Wednesday, please on Thursday or Friday, go ahead and post anyway for two reasons. One, you'll just lose a point for it being late, which is much better than losing the whole thing. And secondly, you won't be able to read other students posts or respond to them until you've posted your own original response. The questions in this class in discussion boards are generally about your own perspectives. There's not a lot of things where there's a right or wrong answer, so I want to hear what you think about the, the issue before you read other students. When you get to module one, it's going to look overwhelming when you first look at it. That's okay. There's a lot of items in there, but some of them are very short. They're just foundational things to get started with. There are three items that, as I mentioned before, you're going to need to have done before you can move on to Module 2. One of them is to set your notification preferences. You'll see a link for that. The other two have to do with reading and signing agreements. You're going to read the OTC Academic Honesty Policy and view a short 
um, video on plagiarism, and you're going to need to be sure to read the syllabus. On each of those, your, those three items, you're going to type your name in the assignment box, which signifies that yes, you have set your notification preferences, and yes, you've read the policy and the syllabus and you agree to abide by them. Finally, each week after I complete the grading, I'm going to post an announcement with some feedback from that week, as well as some reminders about upcoming activities. If you've set your notification preferences, you'll receive those announcements in email. The announcements in Canvas are always located at the top of, of the home page. Now a bit about this course, Psychology of Personal Adjustment. It's much different than other psychology classes. Yes, we will talk about theories, we will talk about terms, but much less than in other classes. The main goal of this class is your personal growth and adjustment, just like the name says. So the assignments are very much designed for you to apply personally to your life. At the end of the semester, many students say that they've really gotten to know themselves better, learned a lot about themselves, um, have improved in some areas in their life. I hope you find that to be the same experience for you. I really look forward to these next several weeks of getting to know you and walking with you on this personal journey. Is that good? That was good. Okay.